So today I'm actually going to take you behind the scenes of me working on an idea, right? I'm going to create a product for one of my businesses. This is just going to be kind of like a live raw brainstorming and concept creation and strategy on how I kind of put these products together, these ideas together and how to make valuable products that can actually sell. And so the kind of like the product that I'm going to be doing is for real estate agents, regardless whether real estate agents are your end consumer or not, you can probably take some value out of this just by watching the way that I craft this product and then possibly applying it to whatever you're selling or whatever you do. First things first, I'm using a, an application called Miro. Um, it's really a handy tool to kind of just lay all of the ideas out there into this like blank canvas. You can add sticky notes and stuff like that. So it's really awesome. Um, and that's what I'm going to be using today. So I already have in my mind that this is going to be at a starting point, $98 per week. I'm actually going to name this it should be called real estate accelerator. Um, I'm going to, I'm just going to name this product real estate content accelerator. And I already had in my mind that, um, the starting point for me, was going to be $98 a week for real estate agents. And so now I'm just going to start laying down ideas of what I can include. And, and here's the key when you're kind of making a product is you're supposed to lay down as many ideas and whatever you can possibly offer, um, to make the offer valuable. Right. And so just think of anything that you can just start slapping down ideas of like what you're going to include, even if it sounds ridiculous, like sometimes it's like, you're adding all of this and that, and it's like for $98 a week, it's like, Whoa, like that's a lot. So you first just want to get it out there just so you can kind of put everything outlined and then you can start, you know, tweaking things here and there and then start taking things out. So I'm going to start doing that. You get access to courses slash workshop. which this in general is just like recorded content, right? And then I'm also going to put underneath that. I already have this idea. I'm already working on this course, how to use TikTok for real estate that I can put on there, how to, how to record your own listing videos, how to film better content. And I'm just writing down kind of like all of the ideas right now that I have of courses or content or workshops that I can create that they'll get access to right away. As soon as they start with the $98 per week, how to make ads that video ads. Yeah. Let's do how to make video ads. Cool. So how to start and grow your YouTube channel. So here, here pretty much already, I have that, right. That's access to courses, workshops, and recorded and recorded content. So that already in itself, like it seems like a lot. And again, that's why I'm just adding it on there. Um, but to be honest, I feel like a lot of this stuff is just all about like recording it once and it's there. And now every single agent that we sign on from here, six months down the road, like they'll get access to it right away. And we're always going to be adding content. Right. And so one of the things that we can do here, uh, I'm just going to add that at the bottom is access to all I'll put instant access, instant access to all new and updated content courses, course content, I would say. Now that's like an even more value right there, right? So besides all of the courses that we're going to provide for them, we're always going to be making new courses, new content, new workshops that they can get instant access to, uh, as soon as you know, they're available. So that's already adding more value into this $98 per week. Let's see what else we can do. So, um, on another note, let's add. Okay. So let's see what else I can provide. One of those things that I was already thinking on the top of my head is every week we'll provide weekly, weekly video concepts slash ideas for social media. And so kind of what this one means is we're going to be providing them ideas. And just to recap too, all of these ideas that I'm coming here and which I probably should have done first, um, is are coming from pain points that real estate agents that I've been hearing a lot, right? A lot of them don't know what to shoot. Don't know how to keep their social media up to date. Like agents don't know how to use TikTok for real estate. They think that they need to do dancing videos and this and that. And so we're, we're pretty much first dissecting things from their pain points. And then I'm making solutions for, for those pain points. And one of them for sure is like, we don't know what to post on social media and stuff like that. And so weekly video concepts slash ideas for social media that they'll get every single week. Um, and we can do 
three or five actually, so you could do at least one a day, right? Five weekly post ideas, ideas slash videos, videos to make. Save time if they don't know what to post on social media, which is a huge thing, right? Right now I'm putting bi-weekly. It could turn into monthly or it could even be turned into weekly, but I'm gonna start with bi-weekly uh, group coaching. Bi-weekly group coaching calls, right? Creating a helpful community, solving problems, solving problems. People will have questions on these calls and so we'll help them solve them in front of everybody else. And so everybody gets to value all at once without having to do like one-on-one -on -one and stuff, right? Social media strategy updates. Which will be like the social media strategy updates are gonna be pretty much, if anything has changed, algorithm changes, like things that they should be doing now, they'll be updated in the call and as well as we'll update some of the course content if needed. So that'll be cool. For sure, what we're always gonna do in the calls is review wins and what's working for other people. We're gonna take people who have been doing good and have been executing and are seeing results and then we're going to kind of put them on the um, put them on the call and ask them questions on how, like what kind of success they've been seeing. And with this, the rest of the agents are gonna be able to kind of get value off of that in terms of how they're executing certain things or how they're doing it or how they're consistent and also get excited and hyped up because other people are crushing it, doing the same exact steps that we teach in the courses and all of that stuff. So that's definitely one thing that we have to have on the calls. We definitely need to have where all the community can come together and chat with each other. So a Facebook group or Discord or Slack would work good. Um, and pretty much this will be a private one, not a public one, which is something else that you can add as a prospecting tool in the future. But as a private one, no one can have access to it unless they are a member, right? Unless they have membership. And with this, they'll be able to communicate with each other and bounce ideas off of each other. And it'll just be a great place to always have constant updates. Like, you know, sometimes there's um, newsletters or updates that you want to tell or you want to reach across to all of your members. This is sometimes the best way of doing it because then you can have conversations in there and you can have other people like your assistant go go through conversations to help people on the spot compared to email. Cause you know, you can always send out email updates and stuff, but it's a little bit harder in terms of like replying to people because then you'll start getting a bunch of emails coming down in your pipeline. So uh, Facebook groups, Discord, Slacks are definitely better. And then uh, the good thing about having those as well is that all of your conversations will pretty much be recorded and you know you can always go back and and tag people or reshare things that you've already posted before and you can't really do that with email you know you don't want to resend emails that you sent in the past so private groups are definitely the way to go so far i mean let's let's review this real quick so far all of these courses content recorded content on how to you know be a social media expert as a real estate agent that's awesome weekly video concepts slash ideas for social media that's going to be amazing Bi-weekly group coaching calls, Facebook group, Discord group, cool. And then let's see what else. Lead generation strategies. And so here's where I think a lot of people will get value from this. Four monthly or one weekly lead generation video, lead generation concepts. And what this is gonna be, it's gonna be like every week we'll make a video, right? We'll execute a video that they can use to just either post organically to try to generate leads from their database or prospects or whatever, or they can actually run ads against it, you know, like put an ad budget and target it here, geo-target it using the course, of course, if they don't know how to do that. And I think providing one of these a week is gonna be super valuable to them in terms of like them being able to just make ads without thinking about them because we'll do all the strategy behind. I think that'll be cool. And um, I think that'll be definitely worth it. Now, it sounds like a lot. And again, a lot of this could be a lot. Um, and the majority of this could be like overwhelming, you know, especially if you don't really know how to execute these properly. And, and this is kind of how we find out how we can provide value and how we can make products that people actually want to buy which is the most important key. A lot of people make things and add stuff to their products like, oh, and this, add this, add that. And a lot of times like people don't want that and you wouldn't, you'll never know, right? The one thing you wanna know is like, you know, make up everything and then present it to a possible client. Even if you tell them, hey, like, I'm not trying to sell this to you, but I just want feedback from you. If I were to offer this for this much, would you buy it? 
and then get feedback from them, right? Like say, oh, okay. They would either say, yes, I'll absolutely buy because for, for them, it's worth more than that price point you gave them, right? And then, or they'll say, um, maybe it's too much for this or whatever their doubt is, right? And then just take note of that. And then, then you can kind of come back to the drawing board and kind of fix things, right? Add more value or, or decrease the price depending on where you want to start. But the most important thing is like, if they say that it, they don't want to buy because of the price, don't decrease the price first. Try to figure out more ways to add value to the point where you don't have to be, you know, you don't have to shoot for the bottom of the barrel and be the lowest priced uh, product. You can always just add more value. Just find ways to add more value and keep the price there or even level up the price if you added a lot more value than what it's worth. Because you can always charge more, but you don't ever want to charge less. Here's something that you definitely want to do with your idea, right? So once you're done creating your outline and, and the product that you want to build and all of the things that you're going to add to it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my real estate agents, right? The ones that I've been working with, and they don't know anything about this. But all I'm going to do is, is go up to them and tell them, hey, so I'm thinking about starting this service or this product. Here's everything that includes. And then boom, I spill out everything, right? And then I ask him at the end, how much would you pay for that? on a monthly basis, weekly basis, or one-time basis, depending on what, you know, what your product is. Ours is per week. So I'm going to tell them, how much would you pay for that per week? They're going to give you a price. And then you just take all of the prices that, you know, five, 10 people told you. And then you kind of see like where they're at in terms of what, how valuable they think that is. And of course, there's other ways that you can prove that it's more valuable sometimes. Um, so that's why you want to get multiple opinions, not just one. Most times you'll find out this, that the price point that you're talking about or the price point that you're providing is sometimes lower than what they are willing to pay. So sometimes you need to price your things a little bit higher, which you'll never know unless you ask these questions to your actual consumers. And then from there on, like we'll start selling it, right? Just make sure you have your product kind of solidified, like at least 80% there, right? It doesn't have to be super perfect, but it should be 80% there to the point where you can actually sell it. I don't like spending money on ideas or concepts that I don't know if they're going to work. Here's the thing with me. I've started multiple businesses, right? In the past, like we've all had our ideas and we want to start this and that. And I think I've had a, about 10, 15 of them where I, all I did was I spent money on like incorporating LLC, getting my website up, all of this and that, and it never went anywhere. So after starting so many ideas, I've realized that it's not like, it's not important to start an LLC, not important to do anything but actually execute the idea and sell it first. Because you want to see if this is worth something to put all your time, effort, and resources into, first of all, before you even start spending money on it. What we're going to do is with this idea, now that we have everything outlined, is I'm going to start selling it first. I'm actually going to say that I'm providing this and this is everything that it includes, and I'm going to start selling it. And one thing I could say is like, hey, I'm taking pre-orders you know, and I could even do a little bit of a discount for those pre-orders for like the first four weeks or whatever, and then start selling it. And if people are saying like, yeah, I'm ready to buy and they give me the card, guess what? This is something that I'm actually going to put my time and effort to, because if one person wants to buy it, two people want to buy it, three people want to buy it. That means that I have a whole customer database of market, especially in real estate agents that I can sell it to. And so this is worth pursuing. Now I can actually put some time and money and energy into it and start actually going one by one, selling it providing the value, you know, making these content and improve it over time, which then you'll realize that in the future, you're going to have to bump your price point because you're going to be providing so much value and refining and adding to it because you're going to be reinvesting back into the business to the point where it's going to also be more profitable long-term because you're going to raise your prices. And that's actually a good sales point there to do is you tell, you tell people like, Hey, you know, this is, this is the price point that I have it at now, but I might only keep it like this for a year. And then I'm going to have to raise the prices because we're going to be adding so much value, so much content, so much to our product or service that, you know, we're ultimately going to have to raise the prices. And so, you know, psychologically, they're going to be thinking like, Whoa, I need to get in now instead of later, because, you know, if I start fresh, I could be grandfather then I can start, you know, I can start on the, on the lower end side because I know it's going to grow. Here's the last thing for this offer, right? And I'm making this second one. And again, and this is the, this is the cool part, right? So there is two products, right? You always want to have more than one option available. You will always have a baseline product, a baseline customer, and then you can always upsell more things, right? And so $98 per week will be the baseline. This is, will be like where majority of our clients are going to come into they're going to start with that plan but you always want something where it's like if they're getting the most out of all this like what how else can they get more value but you don't want to also just 
make it the same price point, right? So for this one, as a premium, my thought was of offering a $249 per week. There are hundreds of thousands of agents nationwide and not even worldwide, there's, that's just nationwide, right? Even in this state, probably there's probably thousands of agents here in this state of Colorado that I'm in that would not mind paying $249 a week for everything that I just said, plus one-on-one -on -one coaching calls, personalized marketing strategies. Boom, one-on-one, -on -one. it's gonna be super important. And then here's the other thing that we're gonna to add to that. Besides one-on-one -on -one coaching calls is accountability. Two 15 minute coaching calls per month. Accountability is gonna have a dedicated social media coach. They're gonna have direct communication to their coach via text, Slack, email, right? So one of the most important things is that people want to save time by not having to, you know, sometimes watch all these videos just to get one question answered. And so people will pay more money to save time and for convenience. So the premium product can include everything that you have on the baseline product, but what are people willing to pay more for? Saving time and for convenience. That's what we're doing with this premium product is we're just adding things that will help them save time, speed up the process, get them the results faster, make it more achievable to them. And that is where the accountability comes in. It's gonna be super important and they're gonna love that. The fact that they can have a coach that's going to help them stay accountable, communicate with them every day. Like, Hey, have you posted this today? If not, like, you know, what can we do to, to make you help you post that? Whatever. Um, so one-on-one -on -one coaching accountability, and then we're also going to add something else. Let's see. Here's the last thing that I think we can add to this just as a cherry on top is that we're going to help them create their weekly social media calendar schedule, meaning that they don't have to put too much thought energy and this and that on how to execute their social media strategies in terms of what videos to record that week, um, what to post that week, stuff like that. Their coach is gonna help them create that schedule a week before so they know like what they should be doing. The other thing with the weekly social media calendar schedule is that it's gonna be customized to their target audience or niche. So for instance, in real estate, real estate agents, sometimes they need to have niches, right? Which is what something that we preach on is like, you know, what are you going to be known for? Are you luxury? Are you VA? Are you this or that? You see, like that's that's pretty much it right now. We have something pretty solid right now in terms of a $98 per week uh, custom package and a $249 per week premium package for those people that are wanting to save time, you know, exchange time for money, meaning they're going to save time by paying a little bit more and having everything more personalized to be able to achieve the end result much faster. Um, and so this is pretty solid, to be honest, like this is this is good. From here, pretty much all I'm going to do is going to start going to a couple of real estate agents, asking them what they think of this of the of this product of this service. If I were to offer it, how much would they pay for it? And then from there, get a gauge of like where their mind at, where their mind is at in terms of what the value it is that they see in their head. And then you know, and I might even change the pricing to some of these. You know, I might make them higher. Um, and if we do so, we might even add just a couple more things there to add a little bit more value. You know, just to cherry on top always. And and just to wrap this up, just so you guys know, like this is actually a product and I, a service and idea that I'm actually going to execute. And so again, if you guys want to keep up to date on how, how this is going, I'm probably going to post more updates on my YouTube channel as well. Um, so yeah, just make sure you subscribe and hopefully this helps some of you guys know kind of like why I made this outline. And again, this is just pretty, it's just scratching the surface. There's a lot more we can do. Uh, you know, we just took maybe like 15 minutes on this. And so um, hopefully helps you guys out and hopefully you subscribe and stay tuned for the next videos.